Champions, we are going to have to interrupt because I have some breaking news. That is today's big idea, which is, when I am lost, God can guide me. We can now return to your usual programming. Hiya, 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 champions! Here's another joke for you from the Joker. Why didn't the crab share his sweets? Because he was a little shellfish. Hey! Okay, champions, it's time for our worship. For everyone to stand up, let's get into our worship. Let's go. In my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. Coach, up here. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. to show Champions, amen. Well, what a way to start a time of worship, but we've still got one more song. So I want everyone to still be on their feet as we get onto our next worship song. Don't know how, but you did it. You made a way. Standing here. Not knowing how we'll get through this test. Figured out and what? 
Watch time in prayer. Father, Lord, we just thank you that you make a way. We thank you that in our time of need, in our time of trouble, Lord, you're always there guiding us, shining a light on the way we must go, Father. Father, I just thank you that you carry us safe to shore, that you shine a light in our times of trouble, Lord. And I just pray that in Chambers today, we learn a bit more about you, Father, and get closer to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, champions. Well, Vanessa, champions are not new to you. They've seen you here before, but this is your first time making it to champions online. How yeah. are you feeling? A bit nervous, but I'm okay. Well, one way to conquer some nerves, I think, is to play a little bit of a game. <sighs> now, you know how champions games work. I come up, I introduce the game, I introduce you. We play the game, and again, I win, and we move on with the service. Listen, listen, listen. Everybody knows. Oh that I always win. Oh, oh. Come on, we all know this, we all know how it works. He always boasts and you know, we are humble and the humble people always win, so you know, I'm just gonna beat him. Well, champions, I'm not sure that was very humble of Vanessa, but you know what? I love talking, I think it's time to get into our game today. 
we're going to be playing the parachute game. Okay, Ooh, champions? I love so this game. So there's a red parachute and a blue parachute. And so, Vanessa, I'm going to let you pick which one, which one do you want to be, red or blue? I love the color blue, so that would be me. Well, that leaves me with red. Champions, let's see who actually is the winner of the game. Let's have a look. Champions, I mean, Vanessa was all talk about how she always wins the game and that I always buzz. But what listen, happened, champions? What listen, happened? Can Who you won see the, the game smile today? On my face? Can you see the smile on my face? I'm smiling because this is all a plot and a plan. Oh. Because I'm going to win, but I have to be humble at the beginning, guys. But when I thrash him, oh. we, can all, we can all jump together, like always. Well, champions, I'm not a man of talking, I'm a man of action. So we've seen what I can do. But it's okay, Vanessa. It's okay. Whatever. Now let's go and see from the champions. Have a beautiful day. This is my poster. Poster. And then, and then I draw it with my name on it, and and my and draw with me. Oh hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl, and I'm uh here. Well, I'm not sure where here is. Welcome to Google TV, hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. Hey, Carl. Carl? Hmm, I wonder if I can call him from here. Cassie, thank goodness, I need your help. Where are you? We're supposed to have started Grow TV. I can't do this without you. I think you might have to, Cassie. I don't know where I am. What do you mean? I mean, I'm lost. It's dark, creepy, and to be honest, I forgot my deodorant this morning, so I'm a little bit stinky. Yuck. You're telling me, wearing the sweater feels and smells like a crochet blanket around a dumpster on a hot day. Ew, gross. So how'd you get lost? I don't know. I hate missing Grow TV. Well, let's retrace your steps. What's the last thing you remember? All right. I was sitting there waiting for Grow TV to start. I was playing that game where I act like my thumbs are real people. Remember that game? Yeah, I remember. What happened next? Well, I said to myself, I'm hungry. So I decided to go to the fridge and try to find myself something to eat. Okay. When I got there, I couldn't believe what I saw. What was it? Something so glorious, so beautiful, so magnificent. Carl. It was ice cream. A whole pint of ice cream. Oh no, you ate all of it, didn't you? I ate all of it. I walked around and ate the whole thing. Then the next thing I know, I got super tired and then I woke up in here. Where's here? 
I don't know. It's dark. I can't see. <laughs> I'm lost, Cassie. You sound a lot like what Ezekiel wrote about in this week's story. What do you mean? Well, in Ezekiel chapter 34, verses 11 through 16, we hear a lot about people being lost. Really? People were lost? Even in the Bible? They sure were. You see, the leaders of that time hadn't done a great job leading the people to follow God well. And when you don't have a good leader, what do you think happens? You eat ice cream till you eventually fall asleep in an unknown location? Well, I suppose. But you get lost. And a lot of people back in Ezekiel's times were lost. That must be awful. I can't imagine what it would be like to be lost. What? What? Oh! <laughs> I am lost. And it does feel awful. So what happened next? Well, the passage goes on to talk about sheep and how sheep need a shepherd in order to stay with their family and friends so they don't get lost. Man, I wish I had a shepherd. That's the thing, Carl. You do. You know who it is? Captain America? No, it's God. God is our shepherd. Oh, duh. Of course. So do you mean that God is going to help me from getting lost? Well, in life we may take the wrong turn down a hallway or make a bad decision, forget to speak up after seeing a friend get bullied, but God will always direct our paths and help us when we get lost in our lives. Wow, that makes me feel so much better. Still smells like bad cheese in here, but I really do feel better knowing that when I'm lost, God guides me. Carl, you just said our big idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> Today's big idea is, when I'm lost, God guides me. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. three. When, when I'm, I'm lost, lost, God, God guides, guides me. me. Woohoo! <laughs> so we know God's gonna guide us through our life, but how do you think you're gonna guide yourself out of wherever you're at, Carl? Cassie, I really don't know. I guess I've just accepted my fate, and I'll live here for... Carl? Andy! What are you doing? Andy! <laughs> I'm falling free! Thank you! That's all, kids. See you next week! Why are you in a mop closet? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Champions maps. They're so difficult to... Oh, so difficult to get used to, aren't they? It's a good job I've got one of these sat-navs. Do you know, the other day, I was going on a journey, a journey that I do all the time. I was going to visit my mum and I know the route. I go on that motorway, I turn off on that junction and I go on that motorway until I get there. But this week, there was an accident on the road and it was a good job I had my sat-nav because it directed me a completely different route and I avoided the accident and arrived at my mum's on time. Thank goodness for sat-navs. You know, this map, I used to enjoy reading maps, but oh, it's a bit difficult to read this one. You know, it's a good job that we've got sat-navs and maps in our lives to guide us on journeys, but it's also a good job that we've got God to guide us when we're lost in our lives. And this week's big idea is when I'm lost, God can guide us. When I'm lost, God can guide me. And it was just like that with the prophet Ezekiel. He was talking to Israel about how they were lost. And the reason why they were lost was that the shepherds, the ones who were guiding them, were not guiding them very well, were they? And you saw the guy in the film where he got lost and he was in the dark. But it's really important for us to remember that even when we're lost, Jesus can guide us in the right direction. And you know what? Sometimes we mess up and we do things wrong. And even then, Jesus is trying to guide us. He wants to forgive us and he still loves us. Did you hear that, champions? Even when you miss, mess up and you make a mistake, God still loves you. And he loves you so much that he wants to guide you back to the right path. I've been reading this week in Psalm 95. It's a great psalm. Go and have a look at it. But when it gets to verse 7, it says... For he is our God, he's talking about the Lord, our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. Today, if you would hear his voice, don't harden your hearts like the Israelites did. Don't harden your hearts, but listen to God's voice. So who is this guide? Who is the shepherd? Well, we know, don't we? The Bible says Jesus is the good shepherd. He's the one who's trying to lead us and guide us. So how is he going to do that? 
It's not like having a map in front of me. I can't look at it and say, well, I'm lost. I don't know what to do next with my friends. Do I talk to them? Do I leave them? Do... It's not going to tell me on the map. But Jesus is always guiding us. He guides us through the Bible. He guides us when he talks to us. He guides us through other people who are there to help us. Jesus is always there guiding us. Can you say amen to that, champions? Amen. So today's big idea, even when I'm lost, Jesus can guide me. Let's pray. Oh, Lord Jesus, there are times when we get lost and we're worried and we don't know if we can find the right path. But Lord God, we thank you that we're never alone. You are always with us. And thank you that you are guiding us. And in our life, you promise to always guide us and show us the right way. So Lord, will you use your Bible? Will you use the people around us? Will you help us to hear your voice so that we can be guided by you? Amen. Well, bye for now, champions. God bless. Hello, this is Abigail bringing you today's breaking news from another one of our prophets, Prophet Ezekiel. Now, Ezekiel, we've heard that your people have been away from home for a very long time. What does God have to say to them? Yes, thank you, Abigail. Well, this is what the Lord says. For this is what the sovereign Lord says. I myself will search for my sheep and look after them. Yes, yes, yes. As a shepherd looks after his scattered flock, when he is with them, so I will look after my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places that they were scattered on a day of clouds and darkness. Yes, yes. And I will bring them out from the nations and gather them from the countries. And I will bring them into their own land. I will pasture them on the mountains of Israel and on the ravines and the settlements in the land. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, I will tend them in a good pasture. And the mountain heights of, of Israel, yes, 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 will be their grazing land. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And, and they will lie down in a good grazing land, a good one, a good one. And they will feed in a rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. And I myself will tend my sheep. I have them lie down, declares the sovereign Lord. I will search for the lost and bring back the strays. And I will bind up the injured and strengthen the weak. But the sleek and the strong I will destroy. I will shepherd the flock with justice. Wow, I mean, that does not sound like God is very happy with the leaders at all. Yes, that's right, Abigail. The leaders have not been doing a very good job at all leading the people. But don't you worry, God will look after his people. That is good news. Anything else? Yes, yes, yes. One, one more thing. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. See... I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep because you shove with flank and shoulder, butting all the weak sheep with your horns until you've driven them all away. I will save my flock and they will no longer be plundered. I will judge between one sheep and the other and I will place them over one shepherd, just one my servant David, and he will tend them. He will tend them and be their shepherd. I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David will be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. Yes, yes. Can you, can you tell us any more about that? Well, Abigail, they have taken advantage of my people. They have defended those who cannot defend themselves. They've taken advantage of them. That's not good. 
But don't you worry. God is the judge and God will take care of his sheep. Well, thank you, Ezekiel, for telling us that amazing good news from God. But until next time, this is Abigail signing off with the prophet Ezekiel. Goodbye. Hey, champions. So I hope you had a great time with us today. And uh, we're just going to go through the memory verse one more time. You should know it by now. But in case you didn't, I'm going to do it with actions this time. So it's 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13. Ready? So it says, Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. All right. Cool. See you next time. Well, champions, haven't we had an amazing time today? I have loved our worship and our games and seeing those prophets. Haven't you guys loved that too? Well, before we go, I just want to encourage you guys, please make sure to send any clips you have to the email address below. And years four, five, and six, if you haven't already, sign up to small groups on the Jubilee Church app. But for this week, that's all, and we'd love to see you next week. Bye. Hi, champions. Did you know that the longest and the shortest chapters in the Bible are both in Psalms? Psalm 119 has a whopping, mind-blowing 176 verses. Wow. While Psalms 117 only has two verses. I'll leave you to go and check that out. See you next week. Bye.